In this video, I'd like to discuss this nib, the Steel Number 5.5 Ultraflex nib from a company called Fountain Pen Revolution. Now, you often hear about its larger brother, the Number 6 Ultraflex nib, which works absolutely great, but I found that the 5.5, even though it's far less discussed, has a giant and surprising advantage over the Number 6. What's the advantage? Well, so far I've been able to successfully install that number six into only a few pens, such as my Noodler's Conrad and my Noodler's Ahab. It also works fairly well in a Jinhao X450. And that's really about it. I've tried to put this nib into other pens that take number six nibs, such as a Twisby Vax 700R, and though it fits and works for normal writing, the feed simply does not provide enough flow for flex. The fact is, the number six doesn't even work in pens that are designed for it, such as this Himalaya V2, which supposedly has a redesigned feed for increased flow. The number 5.5, however, works in a surprisingly large number of pens, even ones that are not designed for flex. So let me show you a few of those now. This is a Twisby 580AL in the nickel gray. Uh, the Ultraflex nib easily slides in and works absolutely perfectly, which is really surprising because the plastic feeds on these pens are not designed to provide adequate inflow for flex, yet for some reason it manages to keep up. I don't know if it's the size of the nib that has an effect, but absolutely no railroading issues at all, and I'm giving this a pretty fair amount of pressure. <clears throat> Now, for those of you guys not familiar with the Twisby 580 AL, it's a fairly large pen. Uh, it is a piston filler. It has a lot of ink capacity. Uh, here it is in comparison with a Pilot Metropolitan. Um, <clears throat> one of my favorite pen bodies from Twisby. Uh, really sturdy, really well built. Uh, it'll probably run you around $60 unless you get some kind of special edition version. Um, so one really great option that you can use with uh, FPR Ultraflex nib. Here's a more recent discovery. Uh, the 5.5 nib fits into a Twisby Minivac. So um, I have it right now fitted with the regular Twisby nib, and I just want to show you how easy it is to replace it with the FPR 5.5 nib. These feeds are friction fit in Twisbys, so they pull right out. And now I can take my Ultraflex nib unline it on the feed and let's pop it right back in okay make sure the alignment is straight let's give it a little shake and let's give this a test this twisby mini vac is one of my favorite pen bodies from twisby uh first of all again it's a vac filler it has huge incapacity. Uh, opening the valve, again, this is a dual shutoff valve, uh, increases the ink flow, which gives you a little bit of a wetter writing experience. Again, better for flex. Um, another really terrific option to use with your Ultra Flex nib from FPR Revolution. Oop, wrong cap. Here it is. Here's another interesting option, a pen made by Opus 88 called The Picnic. This company makes well-made, well-designed pens, which I'll have to talk about in a separate video. This model is probably their cheapest, but is still very solid and can be picked up for around $60. It uses a number 5 Yovo nib, which I've managed to replace with my FPR Ultraflex nib. Now, it did take a little bit more work because this pen uses standard housing, Yovo housing, whereas the Twisby feeds simply pull out. As a result, the original nib was a little bit hard to get out, and the FPR nib was a little bit hard to put in. But when you get the nib to sit just right on the feed, it works perfectly, providing completely adequate flow. Let me show you. So here it is under normal writing conditions, normal pressure, and now let's start to flex it. Even though the feed is made of plastic and not designed for flex, for some reason it still managed to keep up even when I really pressed down. Okay, it started to railroad right here. Look, I think Opus 88 are really a perfect fit for these kinds of flexible nibs. First of all, these are eyedropper filled pens, uh, which give them an enormous ink capacity, which is great because flexible nibs eat up a lot of ink. Now, this Opus 88 Picnic has a unique Fitch feature, which <clears throat> is actually a feature in all of their pens, as far as I know, in that they have two 
reservoirs. The main reservoir right here, and a smaller reservoir right here, and a shutoff valve in between. Now, that shutoff valve has two advantages. First of all, it prevents burping, which happens a lot with eyedropper filled pens, because your hand can heat up the ink, which can force it out of the feed. So quite often you'll find that eyedropper pens um, will burp out ink once in a while. Uh, this pen does not do that. That's number one. Number two, because you can shut off the main reservoir, it's perfectly safe for airplane travel, which is also really good. But for flexible writing, the shutoff valve actually has an additional advantage in that if I want a normal flow, I can keep the valve closed. So let's say I just want to write with a thing and don't need the extra flow for flex. I can keep the valve closed. However, if I do want to flex the pen, by opening the valve, it will increase the ink flow. So I actually get a wetter flow, which is better for flex writing. Hard to see, but I'm actually getting a little bit wetter stroke when the valve is open. And it takes a little bit of time to, to work as well. So this is a tremendously useful feature, which again, uh, as far as I know, only exists in Opus 88. And which is why I've got two other larger models. So this is the Opus 88 Demonstrator, and this is the Opus 88 uh, Omar Clear. And both of them are fitted with flex nibs. Uh, this is a 14 karat gold Yovo nib with a semi-flex customization from a company called FB Nibs. And you can see, even though the feed is plastic, keeps up perfectly well. And if I want the flow to increase, I can open up the valve here. You can see a little bit better in this pen because it's clear, right? That, that opens up the shutoff valve here, which increases the flow to the second reservoir, which gives this pen additional flow. <clears throat> so this is the Opus 88 demonstrator. And then this is the Omar, which I have fitted with a gold Yovo soft nib, not a flex nib, a soft nib, which gives me a little bit of extra line variation. And I actually have it ground down to an extra, extra fine. And once again, the feed feeds, uh, keeps up absolutely perfectly. Um, so there you have it. I hope you found this little discovery of mine interesting and useful. This number five ultra flex nib from Fountain Pen Revolution is really great for drawing, and I'm very happy that it can fit into so many different pen bodies. It leaves me wondering what other pens might be a good fit for this nib. If you have any idea, please let me know.